Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning and we're discussing about financial literacy. You can tell us what is that one bad financial decision that you made in life. You look back, you laugh at yourself. Talk to us at Y254 channel. Uh, yeah, and we'll sample your comments later on. For now, um, Rogers is answering us. Uh, what... Um, what, is, what are some of the ways, what are some of the principles that one can put into action uh, for someone who wants to start their financial literacy journey? Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Mm. And uh, as I started, I said that you cannot spend what you don't have. Yeah, so you, you mm -hmm. first have to earn. So you have to know what, what streams are you going to use so that you can earn. For example... Mm -hmm. For example, if you are going to uh, maybe when they ile inaitwa vibarua yeah like for example where you work um, in Nakuru there's there are vibaruas for 200 shillings per day I mean from morning 8 to around 1 pm mm -hmm. 200 shillings so you have to know that how much am I earning per day so that I can spend uh, X amount of money and if I need to borrow Y so that I can have a total of Z and I can use it for this and that. for A and mm -hmm. then um, from what I have borrowed I'll need to return by this time of the month and then mm -hmm. and then what will I save that it save? also comes so to that uh, let me see if I get you. Kuna iyo earning, you have to first earn. Yes. Alafu ujue how much you're spending. Yes. Right? So that you know how much you need to save. To save. And then if you have taken... Or invest. To save or invest. And if yeah. you have taken and, a and loan... And if you are going to invest, mm -hmm. will you need to add up some cash that that goes now to borrowing? Mm -hmm. You so need to loan. Uh -huh. Then in borrowing, you'll have to ask yourself, am I worthy of this credit? In this Kenya, I hear that we are about 70% 70, 70 of the population is in CRB. Kshida, <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah. a big problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have to also check, self-check our credit worthiness. Are we worthy of that credit? Mm -hmm. Are we worthy to cope on a tala, cope on a branch? Nasa kama una option. Ata kama huko wathi, utafanya nini? No. no. What are your goals? Mm -hmm. I think I failed to mention that in the savings part. Before, before um, after spending or after making a budget for your spending, so you don't have to spend. Mm -hmm. You just make the budget. So first then you, you have the to pay yourself by saving. So first you make the budget. Yes. You know this and th I need this, I need this, I need to pay the rent, I need to... I have my transport yeah. aside. I need to buy shopping for the house. I need yeah. this and that. So you you do a budget first, and then next you do savings. Yeah, you have to pay yourself. Mm -hmm. The first uh, the first amount of money that you get off from the maybe the salary that you earn is to save. To save. Pay yourself. Pay yourself. Nimuhimu. Yes. Uh -huh. Umefanya kazi for, Umefanya for 30 days. Ujirudishie. For 40 days. <laughs> but mtu anaza sama. Unajilipa. Mtu anaza sama na jilipa na njengine. So instead of saving, so I decide to cheat ji, myself. Kuna mtu atajilipa ki akienda. No, that's not the right way of paying yourself. So paying yourself is saving. You pay, you pay yourself by saving. Mm -hmm. So after saving, uh, you need to maybe invest in something. You have a dream, you have a goal. So you know your goals, your long-term and short-term goals. I need this to get to this yes. place. Mm. For example, uh, myself, I'm, I'm seeing my company getting somewhere in the next five years. Mm -hmm. So personally, I'll be saving something from my own kit. I'll also be saving from the company's kit that this will help me in the next future. Mm -hmm. I needed to invest the money to something. For example, we are now investing in uh, inputs, mm -hmm. farm inputs. The prices of fertilizer have gone up. Mm, Around 6,000, 7,000 farmers can witness. Yeah. 6,000, 7,000. 7, 
for wow. one bag 50 kg of fertilizer chemical fertilizer mm -hmm. but we have inputs for organic which are much effective yeah. at 2500 shillings at at around uh, 1500 for 25 kilos bag mm -hmm. you see yeah kind of decisions Getting. that we have to make mm -hmm. at the end of the day will also determine so that is my short term and the long term plan i'm planning that in the next five years i have my own uh, kind of manufacturing center for the organic farming in uh, but before I get there, I need to sell other people's inputs. So we get them from other manufacturers and sell them to farmers mm. because we have that connection with the farmers. All right. So uh -huh. uh, then if we need to invest much further, we need to borrow maybe from a bank. Mm -hmm. A bank, we have to look at the interest rates of the bank okay. or from, the, from a circle somewhere and then uh, the repayment period, and then other terms. For example, um, is it worthy for my company to have this credit? Or is it worthy for myself, Rogers, to have this credit? Then we'll also need to protect what we have. By protecting, I mean uh, we can have a kind of an insurance that protects us from um, financial risks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we'll, we'll also come to that. Okay, yeah. no problem. So le let's uh, list them. Uh, you've said you save uh, you earn. budge. You okay? You earn, and then you have a budget. Budget. And then you save. Save and, and then invest. You save and then you invest, right? Yes. And then after investing, you see you how you can borrow. B you can borrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then after borrowing, you see how you, you can protect yes that, that's the insurance bit of it yes okay so back to savings so should you just save for the sake of saving this uh saving not investment so should you just save or should you have a plan before you save so i'm saving for this or should you should you just go ahead and save to evil uh i can say that saving and investing are twins okay so uh, someone can say that i'm saving by investing mm -hmm. And someone else can say that I'll, I'll get to a bank, open a savings account, which gives me an interest of this percentage. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a kind of an investment in savings. Okay. So uh, you don't have to just save. Mm. No. You will determine that I need to be, I need to pay myself an amount. Let's say, um, X, Some amount month. X. Mm. So uh, what are my plans? What, are, plans? what are my short-term plans? I think I talked yes, ab you, about it. You talked about it, the long-term goals yeah, and the short-term goals. The long-term, what are my short-term goals first? Mm -hmm. No, we, you have to determine the long-term so that you can determine, you can know how to break the short-term plans and then they'll contribute to one. All right, sour, sour. And now back to loans. How do I manage loans? Seventy percent of Kenyans, according to research, are in already in CRB. So you find them to a borrow from Tala, cash them to a borrow from Mshwari, cash them to a you know, different avenues, and then you delete, and it becomes a trend. You borrow or you borrow to pay a loan. Ni mama ten thousand ni merudisha tena ndio ni yombe ingine, you know. So how do we break that? Okay, it depends on what you do with the loan first. You borrowed the loan. What did you do with it? If it was something worthy, mm -hmm. uh, I bet you should have returned it. Okay. So if but, if it was for sherehe uh, form. I'm sure you, you won't get, you won't, you, out out a kwa nanguvu ya kuirudisha. But if you invested mm -hmm. it maybe in a business, like for, e for example, there is a time I used to sell shoes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and there are students who survive by selling shoes and I, and I really applaud them. Applaud them. Yeah. Because they, they, are, they, are, they are becoming informed as early as they are. Someone is 17 and is already in business. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, 
I think about the loans, what are you borrowing it for? The purpose of it and is what matters. Yes, and if you wasted it, usi tense. <laughs> usi tense, afa ye nini? Usi tense. Find a way, work yourself, and make sure that you repay it. Then the next time you are thinking of getting a loan, Think twice. Think twice. Like in Isasa, you know, kuna mtu mwenye na live from hand to mouth. Not necessarily see a sherehe, na see a business. So I'm just, I'm borrowing to pay my rent. I'm borrowing so that I can eat food today. This month, I don't know what to do. So ni meenda pale tala, ni mekopa. 20,000. So next month comes, maybe I get some 20,000 from another loan app. Ni lipe hi. You know how it works, you know how people borrow it. So, because I don't have a job, I don't have anything, this is the only, you know, means to Nikona at this point. And why do you borrow a loan to pay a loan? So, you see, particular interest, you see, Katazwe next time, yeah, you square limits and all that. Okay, so I understand such kind of uh, situation, and um, at some point in my campus life, I think I, I also borrowed. Wow, but, you but must I, be very okay. <laughs> financially okay. Come on, it's at one point, you know. No, no not just one point. I mean, uh, at some points, points. Point, oh, at yeah. some points in campus. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because um, to survive, mm. of course, yeah, you need food. Yeah. You need to maybe pay off, uh, you are traveling to school, mm -hmm. and so you need to pay bus fare and all that. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, it never reached a point that I borrowed to mm. pay. <laughs> I borrowed well, just a pile. Eh? Uh -huh. uh, but I think that was, um, it really helped, by the way. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a CRB peer, I had to clear afterwards. Uh -huh. um, I think when it comes to loan, we need to think of our goals. And if it's for surviving, mm -hmm. you can survive by other means. So you find other avenues of surviving? You can survive loans. other, you can use other avenues to survive. For example, if it's in a school set setup. Mm -hmm. You can maybe go to your, like for example, I was in the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. and we had this work study program. We were paid 125 shillings or yeah, 125 shillings per hour. That is what I used to survive with. Mm, with only yeah, from it. That is, and the salary, I remember the salary that I got at the end of the week, it was about 5,000 shillings. Oh, that was good. Yeah, we used to work at the Kahawa, thanks to Professor Kiyama. Oh. We used to work at the Kahawa in uh, College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences. And uh, that uh, <coughs> 5,000 shillings, I tried and Nakupush. prepaid off uh, uh. debts. Because the next yourself. time they'll have, the, well, maybe I'll need to borrow. But okay. uh, I enrolled in a financial class and... I think mm -hmm. so you that got is that what awareness on yeah. how to manage and you have a program uh, coming up uh, from an organization that you are the co-founder in that is skill up skill up yeah so what do you do as we come to a close tell us what you do and how you you know inspire the young people to have this awareness on financial literacy so that they can become better okay so uh, thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, Skill Up Inspire is a forum for both uh, tertiary students, by tertiary I mean their polytechnics, their colleges, their universities. Uh, basically the reason for this is to help empower them uh, to make informed decisions and venture in entrepreneurship and also uh, be financial literate. Mm -hmm. By this, I mean that uh, they can use their skills. Everyone has a skill. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have speaking skills. I have, use uh, it. yeah, I have uh, graphics design skills. I have something. We merge them. That is mm -hmm. what we encourage. That that kind of building 
I can say brotherhood or yeah. a meaningful same relationship mm. with the rest of the world so that you can have like one common um, solution to your problems. Mm -hmm. For example, I've talked about maybe someone as a as a, as a good a good communi is a good communicator. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one is a, is good in graphics. Another one is uh, good in name Editing, them, uh, maybe. social media. Mm -hmm. he, he has so many followers in his social media. Yeah, they can Come join together, up, merge and form something. Something that will give them income. Okay. Like for example, as we speak, there are so many politicians out here looking for people to yes. help them come on board to their team. To come on board to their team in terms of communication. When I touch easy magari, we need people in logistics mm -hmm. to go and talk. Help them in yeah, their campaign. campaigns. Yeah, in their campaigns. So that's... Yoni pesa inaka tu wapo. Sawa, sawa. Okay, so, so that's um, why you But mm -hmm. I'm not talking about politics in terms of politics, but I mean, I talk about it in terms of the opportunities that are available. There are so many opportunities. There are okay. companies which need to do advertising. Mm -hmm. That also so, they can come up and team up. So Others someone, in agriculture mm -hmm. also, like myself, come, come in. Up. Yes. So from different fields, right? Different fields, as long as you get uh -huh. the skill. Just Yes, come. and if you don't have the skill, you can also learn. All right, so uh, when is this workshop happening, if, if there's that someone first, who wants to come? That first March, uh -huh. it is happening from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. At? at American Corner Spaces Bazaar, mm -hmm. yes, Moya Avenue. Okay, thank you. This thank has been so a much. great conversation with you. Thank, uh, you, thank, so thank you for sharing, you know, uh, your insights on financial literacy. I believe uh, we have picked from it. Uh, uh, I, b I believe that you've picked from it, so make sure that you know you earn fast and then you save, and that you have a budget and then you save and then you invest. Then after that, you can have uh, an insurance plan. That has been Rogers, who's an entrepreneur and young farmer. We take a short break and uh, we'll be back with Ram Aguko to discuss youth and politics.